Joining us now is Janet Auer. You are a social investment advisor with Chevron. What exactly is a social yes. investment advisor? <laughs> so I work with our nonprofit and community partners to support programs related to STEM education um, nationally in areas that we operate. Programs that support teachers and students in um, college and career readiness standards and other um, programs that uh, so students and teachers can effectively teach and learn STEM education. Why is STEM education so important to Chevron and why are you willing to make such a big investment in the programs? So we see STEM as a um, building block for economic development and which is why we invest in those programs. We know that providing teachers and students with the resources to take full advantage of what STEM has to offer um, ensures that students understand what types of careers are out there, what they can do, and um, those students we're hoping will become the leaders of tomorrow. The numbers are very impressive. In 2013, Chevron invested nearly $94 million in education, partnerships, and programs, and plans to spend at least $30 million more yeah. into 2015. Um, this is a huge financial right. investment. How do you hope that it pays off down the road? So again, I think um, ensuring that our country, it's, it's not solely about Chevron and Chevron jobs, it's ensuring that our country has the, the talent and the, the local students um, that become our next generation of innovators that, that can compete in the global workforce. So it's ultimately a um, country and community imperative that not only Chevron, but other companies support education um, to prepare our students for the jobs. For the jobs of tomorrow. Yes. How about the jobs of today? What type of challenges have your com has your company faced in, as far as getting skilled people to work for yep. Chevron? So specifically in our manufacturing jobs, in our, in our um, operating plants, um, one of the biggest barriers is um, passing the algebra test. Um, it, most jobs, even in a refining environment, we require math, they require critical thinking, problem solving. So transforming education to uh, teach those kids how to do those jobs um, is really what we're seeing. Very critical. And Chevron has pledged funding of a half a million dollars for the NSTA Administrators Initiative, which kicked off right here in Chicago. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes, yeah, so that initiative um, is specifically designed with the implementation of the new standards, Next Generation Science Standards and Common Core. It's a very different way of teaching and learning. And by going out and talking with our stakeholders, we realized that teachers are not familiar with this learning style. So we um, designed this institute with NSTA to train administrators so they then in turn, collectively with their teachers, can um, uh, teach this to the students. And finally, one thing that we hear from teachers is that money is a major issue right. for them. What advice would you have for teachers interested in reaching out to more businesses to get support? I would say think of your highest priority needs. Um, approach businesses in your local area. Find um, industry and business that has a common interest of what you're looking for and then approach them with a very succinct ask. It, it's very difficult for industry and companies to respond to something very general or very general funding. And I always tell teachers and schools, don't get discouraged if you don't get funding right away. Try to get um, industry into your classrooms, see what's going on, and then funding may follow. Janet Auer with Chevron, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.